You might have heard of this program called ChatGPT, and it's basically an artificial intelligent program. It's a chat program. You type in any question that you have, it'll give you an answer. You wanna know what two plus two is? It'll tell you that it's four. You wanna know what the official language of the United States is? It'll tell you English. So a lot of people have been using this program for different reasons. But what I wanna know is can it create a strong resume? And further than that, can it create a strong federal resume? That's what we're gonna find out here today. So first, I'm gonna ask it to create a federal resume for a program analyst, which is in the job series 0343. And let's see how it does. Okay, so first I will type in create a federal resume for a program analyst. Now we can see it creating the contact information and then a summary, which I don't really think is necessary for a federal resume, but it does mention federal government. Next, it creates an education section, which I don't really like the location of where this is at, but it's fine. Now we get to professional experience. Okay, so look at these resume bullets. Weak, weak. Why are they weak? They're not quantifying anything. And with another position, we have even more weak, generic, generic, a lot more of the same. So this doesn't look good right off the bat. But wait, let's ask the program to start building achievements. Because like we talk about all the time, instead of responsibilities, we need to be focused more on the achievements. Let's see if this program can generate some achievements and whether or not they're quantified. Okay, so we'll go ahead and type in create achievements for program analyst. And look at this, we're actually getting some quantified achievements. These could be a little bit more specific, but overall, overall, I really like these bullets. Well, it looks like only the top three were actually quantified and the rest were not. But this is a good framework to use. If you're having difficulties creating achievements in your resume, you can look at something like this. It can help guide you. Of course, this isn't a copy and paste. You're gonna have to tailor it towards your actual experience. But in addition to achievements, we also need success stories. I love a good success story. So let's see if this program can generate success stories so that we can include them in the resume also. Okay, so I'll go ahead and type success story for program analyst. And at first it explains all the elements in a success story, but we know that. And then it actually shows some examples. The first one here is someone in healthcare. Now, you can type in more and get more examples. So let's do that. This one is for someone in retail who improved a new inventory management system and it gives us plenty of results, which that's really important. All right, so let's type more again. And this one is for someone who works in the financial services who implemented a new compliance program. I'm surprised overall of the results that we're actually getting from this AI program. And it's important, like I said earlier, to include success stories. You don't have to be a program analyst, whatever you are. You could be a training analyst, or you can be a budget analyst, or you don't have to be an analyst, you can be a financial specialist. You type it in there, type in success stories, and you will have examples that you can now use. But for me, the question remains, does this program actually know that this is for a federal job or not? I mean, is it just doing it like a private sector job? Does it have any difference between one and the other? So I wanted to test this knowledge of federal government jobs. To test this, I'm gonna input keywords for a job series. We're gonna use 0341. I wanna know if it can give me keywords for a 0341 job series. Let's type that in, see what it says. We can see the keywords are flowing and there are a lot of them, a lot of pretty good ones. Not perfect, but surprisingly pretty good. You can definitely use a lot of these keywords in your resume. Now I tested a few other job series and it wasn't always perfect. Like if you put 0343, it doesn't come up as management or program analyst. So these are kinda, they're spotty at best, but useful tool nonetheless. When it comes to keywords, we talk about that too. You wanna have the keywords that are associated with your job series in your federal resume, and this tool can do it. And like I talked about earlier, it's completely free. Now I'm testing this here, January, 2023. So imagine next year or the year after, how much stronger this type of program will be. I think that it can actually get to the point, maybe later this year, maybe next year, maybe 2025, I don't know, but it can get to the point where people are gonna be able to upload their resume. 
And this program, this AI program is going to be able to strengthen it, right? And then you're gonna be more competitive. Now the problem with this is if everyone does it, then the, the standard or the level of competition is going to raise. So it's gonna be even harder to stand out between other people. But I think it's a great tool. I think it's a good tool for people to use today if they're, if they're searching for a job, not just a federal job, if you're searching for any job, this is definitely something that can help you stand out among the competition today. And best of all, it's completely free. All you have to do is sign up. I'll drop a link in the description below. Okay, if you're watching this and you're interested in a new job, maybe a government job, but you don't know what level is the best. Is it city? Is it county? Is it state? Is it federal? You don't know. Well, I made a video that can help you decide on which one you might want to pursue. You can learn about that by watching this next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.